Expansion units have two mounting options. They can be stacked in groups of up to four units when floor mounted or mounted to the wall adjacent to Power Wall 3. Expansion units can be ordered with either a wall mounting kit or a stacking kit. This video focuses on how to stack expansion units. For more information about expansion units and wall mounting, refer to the installation manual or watch the video titled Power Wall 3 Expansion Units. The stacking kit includes the same mounting bracket as Power Wall 3 and a fan front cover. This kit also includes six plugs for the front cover screw holes, four T40 screws, and four mounting bracket shims. Please note, when stacking power wall, all units must be resting directly on the floor. To maintain access to its wiring compartment, power wall 3 must never be installed in the back or middle of a stack, only in the front of a stack or independently to the wall. Before mounting the first expansion unit to the wall, it is critical to assess the floor where the stack will be mounted to ensure that it is compliant with the power wall stacking requirements. The feet on power wall can be adjusted up and down by the maximum amount shown here. Keeping that in mind, the slope of the floor will need to be assessed to ensure that the lowest point of the stack will be within this range. Furthermore, notice that in cases where the floor slopes toward the wall, the height of the mounting bracket will need to be adjusted. For flat surfaces, or when the floor slopes away from the wall, measure up this distance from the floor for the top row of fasteners. For floors that slope toward the wall, the height of the mounting bracket will need to be adjusted based on the height of the slope. Mount the bracket so that it is both level and securely attached to the wall. Refer to the installation manual for details about the fastener requirements, which is based on the wall type and number of units in the stack. For the unit mounted to the wall, ensure that the leveling feet start all the way up. Use Power Wall Dolly to position the Power Wall 3 expansion so the mounting cleats are just above the flanges on the bracket. Lower the unit until both the upper and lower sets of cleats engage the flanges on the bracket. Visually confirm that all four cleats are engaged on the mounting bracket before proceeding. If needed, adjust the leveling feet so that both are resting on the floor. Retrieve the fan front cover from the accessory kit and place it over the open area at the top of the unit. Press inward to engage the clips, securing it to the enclosure. Insert the six plugs into these front cover screw holes. Grab the mounting bracket for the next power wall in the stack and place the four shims from the accessory kit over each of the four corners, aligning the shim with the edge of the bracket. Hold the bracket in place, aligned over these four threaded holes. Hand start each of the four T40 bolts from the accessory kit to fasten the bracket to the enclosure, then torque to the listed specification. Gently lower the next unit in the stack onto this bracket, either Power Wall 3 or another Power Wall expansion unit. The front unit will sit slightly lower than the unit it is mounted to. Adjust the leveling feet to align the mounting level of each unit. To ensure that the whole stack is level, place a torpedo level on the front edges of both units at the far left and far right ends of the stack. Repeat these steps for a stack of up to four units. The wiring harness for power wall expansion units is available in multiple lengths to accommodate units mounted in various configurations. Stack mounted units will only use the shortest harness option to reach from one unit to the next and do not require strapping or supporting. Access the expansion port by using a T40 driver to remove this screw, then remove the expansion port cover. It is normal to hear the unit depressurizing during this step. Caution, do not remove this cover if exposed to active rain or snow. To prevent damage or debris, do not remove the protective cover from the wiring harness or the expansion port cover until ready to make connections. Remove the protective cover and plug the wiring harness into the expansion port. When fully seated in the expansion port, the rubber gasket around the connector will not be visible. Secure the connector to the port with the T40 screw and torque as specified. Route the other end of the wiring harness to the next unit, either another expansion or power wall 3. Connect the other end of the wiring harness to the next unit and secure with a T40 screw, tightening to the specified torque value. 
If a wiring harness is dropped or otherwise damaged, dispose of it and use a new harness. Follow the standard procedure to connect branch circuit wiring to Powerwall 3, located at the front of the stack. With all Powerwall 3 expansion units connected, turn on the breaker and the Powerwall 3 enable switch. Proceed with the standard commissioning procedure performed through the leader Powerwall 3. On the devices page, verify that all Powerwall expansion units are detected and present in this list. If an update is available, tap Update Expansion and wait for it to complete. Continue with the standard procedure to finish commissioning, including starting the system, performing a backup test, and completing the customer registration. Installers can confirm the connected Powerwall expansions on the summary page. The final step is to install the glass front covers. Please consult the Powerwall 3 finishing the install video and the installation manual for more details.